Hey guys, it's my Zelp here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 14.8 is finally here, guys. The software that I've been talking about for several weeks, Apple has officially released the software. Now, keep in mind, this software did not see any beta testing. This software aims to enable one major feature that could change iOS in the near future once Apple releases iOS 15 here in just the next couple of weeks. You may be asking yourself, why such a major update, 14.8? right before the release of iOS 15. And in case you haven't been watching, I'm gonna go over some of the latest details as into why. Now, you can go ahead on over to settings right now, head on over into general, go to software updates, and right here you'll find that iOS 14.8 will populate. It's gonna be about 350 or 345 to 380 megabytes, depending on the software that you're updating from. And if you're running iOS 15, obviously you cannot downgrade to 14.8 without the aid of a computer. So you will need a computer. Now, aside from iOS 14.8, Apple also released macOS Big Sur 11.6 without any beta testing. iPadOS 14.8 has been released and watchOS 7.6.2 as well. So tomorrow is Apple's iPhone 13 event and this all ties together with iOS 15 as well. Now iOS 14.8, let's go ahead and take a look here at the bill number quickly. Head on over to general about and the latest bill number here for the official release of 14.8. It's going to be 18H71. Again, no beta testing for iOS 14.8, and you can update your iPhone and iPads, and of course, Apple Watch as well today as of the filming of this video. So what is the big news with iOS 14.8? Well, as you may remember, Apple is rumored to be adding the ability to install security updates on your iPhone without having to update to the next major OS. So for example, if Apple releases iOS 15 to the general public within two weeks, you should be able to stay on 14.8, but still update the security of your iPhone without having to update to iOS 15. And this has been done before. Obviously, it's been done in computers for years. It's about time that Apple brings this over to the iPhone. And here it is, iOS 14.8. If we head on over to automatic updates, right here it is, download iOS updates, install iOS updates. And once iOS 15 is available to the general public, we should see another option to install security updates after releasing 14.8 so this is a big one this is the software that you want to be on and of course this also includes additional security updates and patches that is recommended for all users as you can see right there noted by apple as well aside from that there's no other release notes but as i mentioned ios 14.8 uh, could have been released before ios 15 and here it is sure enough ios 14.8 is here let me know what you think in the comments down below are you uh, against uh, updating the security without updating the os again 14.8 available for all iphone and iPad users as of today. Thank you for watching this quick video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.